this is a very interesting topic about Cairo for pregnant women, babies and the elderly. But let's tackle it one by one. Okay. Let's start first with pregnant women. Okay. What are the benefits of having Cairo for pregnant women, Dr. Rob? Okay, so, you know, just first off, maybe for our, our viewers, we should just talk a little bit about chiropractic in general, what it is that we okay. do, Diba. So let's just do a little refresher course. We've been discussing this over the weeks. So chiropractors, remember we are doctors. We're looking for misalignments uh -huh, in our uh -huh. spine. So we call this subluxation. And so misalignments occur in a variety of ways. Our, our posture goes forward. Sometimes our pelvis shifts backwards. Sometimes we have scoliosis, yes. right? So we actually all have subluxations. And so chiropractors locate the subluxation with our hands and we start the process of caring for the spine, trying to release the stress mm -hmm, in the joint. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, what we're dealing with, a lot of people think we're just cracking one's back, but what we're really doing is we're improving the nerve communication. Mm -hmm. Remember, our brain sends messages down the spinal cord and the nerve is responsible for commuting with all of the surrounding tissue, the muscle, the organs, yes. everything communicates via the central nervous mm -hmm, system. Mm -hmm. And so we improve joint and nerve function, improve the healing and communication so a person is feels better, a person mm -hmm. is healthier and stronger, think better joints also. are working better, mm -hmm. thinking, etc. Mm -hmm. So your question was, well, is chiropractic safe for pregnant, pregnant women, women yes. right? Absolutely, it's so safe. Chiropractic is great for pregnancy for really four main reasons. One, as a as a woman grows and gets bigger, Diba, mm -hmm. of course yeah. that's creating yes. all kinds of stress and weight. Yes. And that's creating this forward pull. It's creating stress on the spine and then remember the nerve. And so it's very common for mom to have back pain. Yes. Pain down Especially the leg. In the hips. Yeah. Oh, in the hips. Yeah, because yes. you have this all this weight here all of a sudden. So that is stress. That's a physical stress on mm -hmm. the spine mm -hmm. and nerve. So chiropractic is gonna help mom feel great during pregnancy okay you, buy, you don't want to have a bunch of back pain and pain in your leg because most mothers would suffer from lordotic right lordosis is it true for most pregnant women um sure lordosis just means a forward curve so we're actually supposed to have a lordotic curve mm -hmm. and so yeah maybe that's going to create a little hyper lordosis it's going to pull mm -hmm. again creating mm -hmm. stress on the spine and the nerve creating a back pain a muscle spasm mm -hmm. so when you have stress on the nerve it creates a reaction muscle spasm, injury, back pain, shooting pain in the leg. And so we're gonna help mom feel good. Two, when you get chiropractic care with pregnancy, we keep the spine in proper alignment and moving properly. So why is this important? Well, when you go into labor, your pelvis is dilating and needs oh, to separate. So it's easier yes. for you to labor more. Yes. Okay. It speeds up labor. Wow, how amazing is that, yes, right? A faster true. labor, who doesn't want that? Because yes. obviously it's quite <laughs> painful. Okay, so three, it also allows for a natural delivery. Because mm -hmm. oftentimes when you have these pelvic misalignments or things are not moving properly, the dilation process happens uh, much um, slower and sometimes complications and then we have to have a c-section so yes. you have to have surgery so it allows for more of a natural delivery oh. better chances of having natural delivery mm -hmm. and the fourth reason why chiropractic is so good for pregnancy is of course these nerves remember are communicating to the embryo the growing fetus yes, so you yes. want to have the proper communication so it helps with the baby's development. Mm. So those are the four reasons why it's very, very important to have chiropractic mm -hmm. care during pregnancy. But at what stage, sorry, I just want to ask, yeah. but at what stage, uh, at what month do pregnant women can have chiro? And how do you do it? Yeah, how do you manipulate their back? Because they have big bellies yeah, already. Yeah, so we can actually do it from the very beginning all the way up until the delivery. Mm. Yeah, so, yeah, even so far since I've been here for six years, I've taken care of so many pregnant Women here, oh. mad madaming celebrities have come in through their pregnancy, uh. you know, and so um, that's been great to see and document. Um, so how we do it is, there's no dapa, there's no lying on the uh. stomach, uh. Diba, of course, Just because, because down. yeah, tihaya, tihaya lang, yeah, so face up, yeah, so I'm able to still check their neck, mm -hmm. the middle back, when we get to the lower back very gently we just are tagilid and we're still oh, wow, able to, <laughs> to mobilize the pelvis the lumbar joints and restore the proper mobility again improving nerve communication so it's very safe very gentle okay. yes yes can Cairo help breech babies 
<clears throat> yeah, so there's yes. yeah, so there are techniques that we can do um, with some muscular training, some techniques that we can do after the adjustment. Mm -hmm. And again, there's there's no like guarantee, mm -hmm. but it's there are some possibilities. There's some hope that we can help change awesome. the direction of the baby. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You talk about prenatal care mm -hmm. for pregnant women. What about postnatal after giving birth? Is it okay also? Yeah, for... yeah, it's okay. Um, of course, if they have to have surgery, then then maybe mm -hmm. there would be a, a a time off but um, if, if everything is good then yeah there's there's no chiropractic is very safe it's not some violent movement mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. where we tear mm -hmm. things and so it's very very safe very gentle although it looks quite violent yeah. in video but it's actually very oh. gentle and yeah so we can do it right after pregnancy okay. yeah Dr. Rob you said a while ago that you feel the misalignment yeah. through your hands. Yeah. How does it feel if one of the bones in your spine is misaligned? Yeah, good. So each joint should have a spring-like motion. When we palpate one spine, we mm -hmm. are checking the, the mobility of the joint we're looking for surrounding edema, muscle spasm, so we can identify the misalignment through a variety of ways, but there should be nice spring-like mobility in the pelvis all the way up the spine. And so throughout chiropractic school, uh, we are really trained to identify normal and abnormal um, alignment. So um, there's some other things that chiropractors can do that can diagnose the misalignments through x-ray. Mm -hmm. um, and x-rays are a great tool, but yeah, for the most part, we don't need to do x-ray. Uh -huh, we can really uh -huh. just tell just through especially history, uh, experience. I've been doing this for 22 years. Oh, so, you know, I can really identify so nice. pretty quickly. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are there any other conditions for pregnant women that you cannot manipulate their back? Like, did they have to have a medical certificate first before they can go to a chiro? No, Is you don't need any type of uh, prescription okay. or, or medical mm -hmm. certificate to see us. When you come in, we would do a very thorough consultation, history, mm -hmm. and examination to make sure that you'll be okay. Um, but we never have had to turn somebody away just because of their pregnant. Even mm. if they're suffering from preeclampsia or anything like that, well, it's safe you know, to Well, of have... course, if there's maybe a severe condition, you know, if there's okay, those okay. types of things, then they probably wouldn't come and see us. But for the most part, yeah, I've never had to turn somebody mm. away. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. That's, that's good. Yeah, it's really good. Let's now move on to Cairo for babies. Let's talk about this. Okay. So what are the benefits? And uh, can newborns have Cairo also? Yes, okay, so... The first subluxation oftentimes does occur at birth because mm -hmm. there's a lot of actually force and trauma that yes. a baby goes through while they're coming out. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of rotation sometimes to the neck and a mm -hmm. pull. And so oftentimes the first subluxation can occur at the birthing process. The atlas here can start to kind of shift to, to one side. So we oftentimes find that that first vertebra is a little bit out of alignment on newborns. So one way you, can, you would know that your child possibly has subluxation is if they're crying, you know, a little bit abnormally through uh -huh. too much, you know, that's a sign. They might not be going to the bathroom regularly. Oh. These are kind of signs. You know, their head is constantly turning to one side. So when the, the spine is out of alignment, the nerve tells muscles to pull. Uh -huh, and so uh -huh. you, the SCM muscle will pull and they get a, like a torticollis where their head is turning. Those are signs that, yeah, maybe your baby has a slight mm -hmm. subluxation. Mm -hmm, and so mm -hmm. the great thing what we're going to do is we're naturally going to fix that. So very gently, yeah, uh -huh. we, adjust, uh, we adjust babies very, very <laughs> gently. So we use different amount of force depending on the person that we are checking. Um, so it's just like the amount of force required to like check the ripeness of a tomato. You know, you just kind of like do a little. Yes, yes. And so with babies, yeah, it's very, very simple. And you can actually just kind of feel it kind of move into place. And, and actually babies are, when they're new, are, are pretty easy because mm -hmm. you just lie them on their back and they're just kind of, they're just squirming around <laughs> and you're just kind and of very putting it. a little pressure <laughs> and then it's very simple. Yeah, that's usually all we have to do. Okay. But what happens is as they start to crawl oh. and, and of course when they start walking, right, they're falling down continuously yes, throughout yes. the day. Think about your child gets up on the table to stand and then falls down, right? <laughs> 15, 20, 30 times a day. And so this is where we start to see more subluxations develop. The hips start to shift, maybe the hip mm. is misaligned, then maybe the spine grows incorrectly, scoliosis. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. the hips and being pantai mm -hmm. is very important. But these things start to take place as they are developing crawling, learning to walk. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Then they're like three years old, four years old, they're falling down more. 
more uh, aggressively. They're playing with their friends. So uh -huh. subluxations are occurring even in children. Okay. Yeah. So other signs, though, that you'll see with kids that they possibly have is maybe they're getting frequent allergies or they're getting rhinitis, getting yes. sick often. These are all signs that there's a disturbance on the nervous system and chiropractic is a natural form of healthcare. Our goal is more mm. holistic. Mm -hmm, we mm -hmm. want to allow the body to heal itself. So we identify the subluxations and gently start adjusting the spine, mm -hmm. allowing the nervous system and joints to work properly and your child gets sick less often. Mm -hmm. right? So it yeah. also helps with asthma, asthma. colicky baby. Yes, colic, asthma, yep. So there's a, there's a saying, you know, chiropractors, we don't cure anything. We don't claim to cure anything. What we do is we allow the body to cure itself. Mm -hmm.